Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, everybody. So I had a couple of updates to give you. One, I deleted my footage from this morning, just now, because Sarah is getting ready for the day, um, and I'm finishing the process of uploading the video that's going being uploaded right now, and it's like 1:40 on Saturday. Um, but this morning, Sarah was doing design work, her freelance design stuff for her current projects, and I was doing the vlog, and I had a busy morning just doing stuff around the apartment and bringing Eve to the vet because kind of like how Sarah's sick and I'm getting sick, we thought Eve was a little sick. She had a little, sound like congestion, plus we wanted to bring her to a vet down here just to like introduce her because we've been here, she's gonna need a vet doctor to go to, she's gonna get spayed soon. Um, so just to meet him and make sure we were comfortable with the vet and also to be like, hey, is she sick or is it just like allergies from being down here in the new environment with all the wildlife in Florida compared to Chicago? And it turns out, there's like a doggy in the flu epidemic going across the country and it's being pretty active in Florida. So we got her a booster shot to stay like a flu shot for their dog. She used to get a second one in a couple weeks. And the doctor does think that she has an upper respiratory infection. So we got some medicine for her. Poor little pup. But he's not too worried because she's pretty energetic still. This is our little princess. She's a little tired today because of the booster shot they gave her. We're trying to make her sit on the chair like she's a princess, but she's a little wild. This is an entire box of sweatshirts and jackets that I'm going to attempt to fit into that closet. Wish me luck. successful afternoon. Sarah so got the vlog up. I got both those boxes emptied full of the jackets and sweatshirts in that closet. We tidied up a little bit. Sarah's folding laundry. Don't mind our Christmas music playing. And here's where we stand in our second bedroom. So Sarah's got her little like office set up over here because we got her butt and stuff. That's, this list over here is all for like design projects. She's keeping real busy. But all this, I freed up all this space just organizing those boxes. And now comes the hard part of the day. The hardest part of today. We gotta figure out what we're gonna eat today at Food and Wine. Mm. And we are here. Yay! What are we getting first? We're going to the DVC lounge first. So we can caffeinate, hydrate, and get pop. Um, and then we're going off to our first, our first new place. Yeah. We have never eaten here at this place before. It's one of the new ones. It's called Flavors of the Fire. We're just really impressed by it. And yeah, the display, the whole little loungy area, which you'll see, and we're getting the smoked corned beef, right? Yep. So it's smoked corned beef with warm, crispy potatoes, pickled onions, blonde ale beer fondue featuring Belgioso Romano and American Grana cheeses. So, and it's five dollars. Yeah. Um, and it sounds like it'll be a decent size, so we're like, why not try? Quite busy in the DVC lounge today, but we got our we got our, our carbonation and we got our snacks. Then we're gonna be ready to take on the world. Okay. But it looks like it's gonna rain. Alright, left Epcot Lounge. Got coffee number like 17 or 18 of the Epcot Lounge. I told the cast member at the desk. Since we've been here not today. Yeah, since we've been here. Um, if you're new to our channel, you'll know that I'm jokingly gonna drink as many free coffees out of the Epcot Lounge as it costs to Have purchase a DVC. a DVC. And I told the customer that was checking us in. She's like, have you been here before? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm trying to, trying to set a record and, and get as, drink as many coffees as it costs to buy a DVC to offset the cost of it. She thought it was funny. I was nervous she wouldn't think it was, but we're going to, oh, it's right there. Yeah. I did not even see these little stand, these little signs over here before when it was dark when we were here. Here's with flavors from spice. Flavors from Fahrenheit. Flavors from smoke. Smoked items. Ours is a smoked item. So this here is the smoked corned beef. I didn't realize it was on chips. Then again, we read the menu yeah. like six times. It was like crispy potatoes. Yes. But what's nice about all of the prices for food and wine is that they include tax. So this, this is literally just five dollars. Five bucks. I think it's a good, good amount for five bucks to, to split. And then it comes, this is one of the stands where you can get the special annual pass. They have eight of these. 
throughout the different stands. So you just kind of, if you're an annual pass holder, you just got to ask when you're at the register and see. Why don't you take a chip and scoop it up and okay. give it a whirl. Delicious. Not time to eat it up. Yeah, it's my kind of cheese. You know what this means. Another sticker. And it's starting to rain. It does. Hopefully it cools it off. Maybe it'll get the crowds a little bit lower. Two stickers down. Three stickers? Three stickers down. Awesome. Do you want to do Soren? Oh, that's right. We have that fast pass. Um, yes. Yeah, Charles just told us that um, being actually the quick service here, which I don't even know existed until we live here, um, has a special food and wine menu. Did you know about it? I, and we, if you remember from the other day, we've been jonesing for some pizza. Yeah. So we might have to check it out. Not only is it the craft beer section, but it's also... You did. And it's the Legacy Showplace. 35 years. And I'm locked out. Look at that cool sign. I got locked out. <laughs> Ooh, past, present, and future. Look at this bruiser on the world shirt for 30 bucks in the hat. It's got. It's super cool. And that cool emblem is actually a bottle opener. So here's what was down at the end of that little merch nest area. Look at this cute Dooney and Burke series. The figment for food and wine. Frozen's down, but we're not here for Frozen. We're here for the jumpers. Oh, I see them. It is one of my life goals to get one of these sweaters or like the Norwegian family in 2011 called them a jumper. They are amazing and great quality. If any of our followers live in Norway, message us. If they're not $400 there, I'll send you money to buy it for me. If they are $400, still message me. I'll send you money, buy it for me. Because it's so much cooler to have a, a Norwegian sweater from Norway. Also cool from Epcot, but if it's gonna come from Norway, that's pretty cool too. All right, we've actually never gotten the pizza window before. No, we're not certain if we're gonna get Yeah, we're not done. set. It kind of depends on... Like set on like Mary Wayne Front. I do see it's new for 2017. Pizza Bianca. The mini cannoli sounds good. I say we stick with food and wine tonight. Yeah, I think so too. Sounds delicious. Well, I know that this pizza window is here because we've never even... Gone. We've known it's here, we just never went but to it before. It's a decent price, like a, a pizza Bianca, eight seventy five for like one person. That's less money than a lot of the other quick service options. Food and wine, food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. Just jamming out while getting the shot. All about that portrait mode, everybody. For anybody watching who doesn't know about this, this is a big part of food and wine is Eat to the Beat. Free concerts and usually really, really good bands. Yeah. Here's the Hooters this weekend. Woo! So we're at Morocco and we're getting a spicy hummus fries, but look at who I spotted up there. Hanging out with some tomatoes. Remy. It's a big um, scavenger hunt for Remy if you want to do it while you're here. Oh, I had no idea. Really? Yeah, yeah so he's up there for a reason. Yeah, there's Remy's all over the park. I thought he was just having, I thought he was having a good time <laughs> cooking everywhere on the world. Oh. Huh. Okay, so we got the spicy hummus fries yes. from Morocco. Completely vegetarian. Completely vegetarian. It was five dollars. Um, was it's not where I expected it to be. Yeah, it's not like your typical fry fry setup, but it looks very good. Yeah. It has tzatziki sauce on it and cucumbers. Oh, it's soft, it's not crunchy. Is it, how spicy is it? It's not super spicy. It's really good, I wonder. I think it's like a, like, I thought it just meant there's meat hummus on top of the fries. But I think like the hummus is cooked with the potato. It looks really good. I think it's my time to dive in. 
So I wanted to let you guys know my, my opinion of the spicy hummus fries. Thought it was really good. A smaller portion even for one person, I think. Yeah. A good bite that's so like I should retract that. If you're gonna come here, um, it was on the smaller sizes of the five dollar items, but very good in flavor. And don't be scared by the spicy part of it. Like yeah, if you're sensitive to spices where you like run away from anything the smallest bit spicy, um, like our friend Victoria, I would even tell Victoria to even eat that because it wasn't too spicy at all. It had like Really and good flavor too. It had a little bit of a spice. That wasn't but, the main flavor. But you could handle it. It's really good. Really flavorful. And like a unique texture. Not what you think when you're gonna order fries. No. So we're on the other side of the UK, and this is where you're, one of the locations you can purchase your family history. And you'll see if you've seen any of our home vlogs that we've got one of those. We actually bought it from this company, but at Downtown Disney, mm -hmm. at Raglan Road, not here, but it's the same company. Same products, so it's cool. It has like the history of your last name in a frame. And we have it with our wedding date. So you want the blanket? Yeah. One of our anniversaries, we'll get the blanket. How about? Okay. I'm in love with the the festival, the festival merchandise this year. Cute, that's cute. Like the color, the design. Look how this collar is a different color. Look at that tank top. Look at that kitchen towel. Oh. Is it a magnet? Does it have the ear on it? <gasps> it doesn't! Super cute. Six ninety nine. That We wanted to get that by the end of the festival. I'm a sucker for a lot of things for these festivals, but I dislike how they'll have like big 2017, big 2016, 15, 17, 18. Sometimes I'm just like, can you just please not put the ear on it? Yes. We're gonna try a new thing, and it's gonna be called Race Around the World. I'm gonna try every one of these drinks. I'll tell you what I think. Really fast. First one is from Brazil. Guaranacoa. Oh my god, they have their food. Delicious. Very sweet. Very tastes like tastes like an energy. This is Peru. Known as the taste of Peru. I just mixed it like three hours. Oh, I'm going to mix it. Tastes like the sweetest fruit you've ever had. This is Zimbabwe, it's raspberry. It looks like blood tastes like raspberry. Tastes like what? Raspberry. <laughs> South Africa. Tastes like South Africa. <laughs> Japan. It's like vegetables. For real. Yeah. It's vegetable. This is Thailand. I think it's gonna be drawing. It only fold up halfway. Oh, that's always my favorite. What is it? Um, it's a melon pot. This is from Greece. It smells like toothpaste. Tastes like Sprite though. <laughs> Last one, best one, Beverly. Still my favorite. Sarah's having a moment. Sarah's having a moment. She's never actually, she realized she's never actually watched the fountain show, which goes off every 15 minutes. So here we are. Am I going to get wet? This is, there's a spin cycle and a wash cycle. <laughs> Look at these lights. Oh. Did you like it? What'd you think? It was great! I wish you were by the speaker to hear it more, but that was cool. Maybe in 13 minutes we can come by. Maybe. They got our pictures right. Oh yeah! Look at there's Eve. We're back here to honor Mark's last day. We're gonna relax the rest of the What's the name of this song? Blue-eyed girl. Brown-eyed 
bad boy. Do you remember when? Everybody help me out. We used to sing. Sha la 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 so this is a coconut elixir. It's like coconut juice with pineapple juice and some others. Sarah got it one time, like what, years ago, loved it. Every one she's ever gotten since has never been that good, so we she stopped getting them. Yeah, and then we like made a version at home. That looks tasty if I've ever seen it. I want to get a better spot because Sarah can see Mark, but as you can see, we, we can perfectly not see Mark. When uh, you live in Florida for five weeks and you're inside a building crying how cold it is, so we go outside. Just from the air conditioning. This is, we're just going to take another stroll, which we did the exact same thing last <laughs> Saturday. So this is like a repeat, but not a repeat. Then we gotta go home to our papa, and I'm hungry. Yeah, one more time. And I'm hungry. And we're sick. And we're sick. Maybe I'll make tea when I get home. Ooh. Sarah hates tea. I like it if it's really fruity and sweet. Did we, did we bring the tea? It's called juice. <laughs> it's, or called, pop. <laughs> it's called popper juice. Could we get it this way or do we gotta go that way? I think we can go this way. Sarah was born in this resort. I took my first bite here. <laughs> We're both lying right now. She just came here a lot. <gasps> Wait, we can. We we're home and our little peanut was waiting for us. We think she's been sleeping off the whole the whole night because of uh, the vaccine she got, but now it's time for her to get her medicine because. Did we say that she has? Medicine? I think I did, yeah. But she's got a little upper respiratory infection. Just like us, she's sick. Did we get her sick? Can dogs? Can we give each other sicknesses? Look at her sit. How does she know it's for her? I don't know. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Hello. The third would be hello. We are a house of diseases right now. Diseases? <laughs> we learned a lesson just now, and I did it, literally had the realization the moment I was done putting Eve's medicine on her food, we should have just put it on a spoon. Because when like we first got her, we had like puppy nu nutri nutrients juice that if she was like, it's like good like calories, booster of right? calories yeah. for uh, and, and vitamins for a brand new puppy. And we used to put that on a spoon and she, she would lick it right up and it was nothing. And she really liked the medicine, but like I put it on the food and it like seeped through all the food and she like ate a bunch but then didn't eat some. And I'm gonna go lesson learned. Sure lesson learned. In the morning, just put it on a spoon. Good to go. She'll eat it right up. <laughs> but we are all could use a good night of rest, especially because tomorrow's gonna be a long day, I think. We have Epcot in the morning, gonna come home and maybe spend some time with Eve and then maybe edit the vlog and then meeting up with our cousins and we don't know if we're gonna do downtown Disney or swimming or what we're gonna do. But it'll be a fun day. And with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.